Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Deborah Hatswell and you're listening to BBR Investigations. It's time for another five minute coffee break tale and today we go to the Berwyn Mountain Range in the beautiful country of Wales. When the light grows dim and you set for bed, why not listen to a spooky tale or two? Tonight I'd like to share with you the mystery creature sightings that take place in the Berwyn Mountains of Wales. Since 2007, several visitors and locals to the area have reported a strange creature that is said to be black and hairy that stalks the woodland areas frequented by hikers, holidaymakers and campers alike. I wonder if they know just how many people have seen this creature for themselves. Now the Berwyn Range is an isolated and sparsely populated area of mountain moorland in the northeast of Wales, roughly bounded by Llangollen in the northeast, Corwin in the northwest, Barla in the southwest, and Oswestry Street in the southeast. I received a report a few years ago from a lady who had moved onto a new property in the Llangollen area, and this is what she had to say. I live in North Wales in the mountains, not very far from Clangollen. This is a new home for us and we've lived here for almost a year now. Very old house, it has no one's lived in it for at least 30 years. It was built between two old yew trees. I'm a herbalist so I grow and forage almost daily. I love the woods and going out and I've always felt at home out and about in wilderness. A few days after clearing the space for a polytunnel, we built a bonfire on our land to get rid of all the brash. It was damp, so the fire made a lot of smoke until it eventually got going and burnt itself down. It was getting dark and I needed to put the tea on, so I left my partner to keep an eye on the fire and off I went. A good 20 minutes later, he came running into the house saying something was sliding down the bank towards him, but he couldn't see a thing. He could hear it and he could tell it was getting nearer and nearer to him and he was really genuinely scared as he couldn't see anything at all. And it was not too long after that that I finally saw the creature for myself. I decided to go down to the river which has a small wooden bridge across it that's not far from our cottage. I got to where there was a big oak tree on the bank that looks down into the ravine and as I looked down towards the bridge I could see something, a figure of some kind, that was big and black and it was coming down the path fast and it was running towards the bridge from the direction of the old farm. I actually thought, oh shit, because as it got nearer it became clear to me that what I was looking at was jet black and it looked like a giant wolf. But it was walking upright on two legs, like a human. It had big broad shoulders and arms. It had a thin waist compared to the rest of the body. I cannot say that it had canine legs or front facing knees, but it was definitely upright, just like a human would be. It stopped at the end of the path and was just heaving its chest like it was heavily breathing. It was just waiting there till it got its breath back. And for a few seconds, I just stared at it in disbelief. And then all of a sudden it was gone. Now, there have been other strange experiences at the house and on the land. Without this lady's knowledge, I've taken a report from a very well-known wild camper who had an experience in the same area in 2017. This chap spends most of his time riding, hiking or camping all across the UK. Like our previous witness, he's well-versed in the natural noises you hear from wildlife. The wild camper is Micah and he contacted me after he'd seen a creature he couldn't identify in the Clangolan area in 2017. Mikey told me himself that he was certain that he'd seen the same bear-like creature that had been seen in the area when he was out wild camping. He explained that he saw a large bodied hair covered creature which was close to his camp and it moved off into the brush when it got close. Now this area is known for big cat sightings and Mikey himself has seen cats in the area. One time he was being stalked by a big cat. In turn, he stalked that cat the day after, but he could not identify the creature he saw in 2017. 
Ten years earlier, in 2007, another local to the area contacted the 14 Society and made this report. The other night, two of my friends were driving home over the horseshoe path towards Ruffin, at one mile past the Ponderosa Cafe. They noticed an owl on the side of the road, and they stopped for a while and watched it. And then, as they were accelerating away, they saw what they described to be a bear with long forearms, and it was walking on all fours. The bear came out of the hedge on the right-hand side of the road. The couple said it was as tall as I am when it stood up on its hind legs. I'm not convinced with sightings like this, he said, but they were absolutely adamant that it was a bear. They went around the area asking people if they had any strange pets which should have got loose somehow. I thought they might have seen a cow or a black sheep, but they said it was at least six feet tall. Both of them saw it. And I was wondering if there'd been any other sightings of such a creature around the area. In specific, I'd like to know if any farmers have had large amounts of livestock go missing. There's a big forest on the right-hand side of this road, so it could live in there. He also said that he believes the owl is significant. Maybe the animal was trying to capture the injured owl for food. One BABR listener and member made their own report after a wild camping in area between the two bear sightings. And this was in um, the 5th of July 2017. And he said, I had an interesting trip to Askew Woods last night with my son and the dogs. Our intention was to stay till morning and we'd made a camp and we sat enjoying it in the night. It was perfectly still, great for listening to movement or anyone moving around. You could hear the night sounds around you. Everything was still and silent. But as it grew darker, we started to hear a strange growling noise that kept happening over and over. And at one point, the dogs were so spooked, they jumped up and started barking and ran in the general direction of the noises. This continued for the next hour, by which time it was 11 o'clock at night, and we decided to break camp and just go home. We were both a bit spooked, to be honest. We realised we were probably not going to get any sleep that night. And just as we were leaving, we heard the growling really close behind us in the dark. I did notice, he said, when we set up camp, a few structures and tree leans that did not seem weather related. I chose this area because it's only a couple of miles away from Clangollan and the Horseshoe Pass area and the Clangollan bear sightings. If you're out and about in the Clangolan Mountains and you get uh, your eye on the Berwyn Beast, please let me know. I'll be back soon with another interesting report. Goodbye.